of Piper's Fix TV. I'm Piper Reese. This week, we're talking about a show that we've got a bunch of requests for, iCarly! we have a podcast, the first thing they say is, kind of like iCarly? So what we really need to do is thank the cast and crew from iCarly for letting the world know about podcasting. As a matter of fact, I think I'll call right now. Excuse me for a second. Hello? Hi, Miranda. This is Piper from Piper's Picks TV. I just wanted to say thank you. We're like this. The biggest difference between Piper's Fix and iCarly is our show is a podcast often about TV shows and iCarly is a TV show about a podcast. What's really cool is iCarly converges viewers' videos with the TV show. You can submit your own videos and they might get used on the show. iCarly was created by Dan Schneider. He also created Drake and Josh and Zoe 101. iCarly premiered just last September. Seems longer, doesn't it? The show is about iCarly, a podcast hosted by Carly with her best friend Sam. You're a good friend. It's a weekly show. Sound familiar? Carly accidentally becomes a star when iCarly gets super popular. Carly and Sam have their techie friend Freddie handle production and techie stuff on the show. Carly and Sam get in all kinds of trouble having fun on the show. A TV producer tried to buy iCarly to save its network. What? The guys start making really bad changes to the show, like adding Zebo. What? Let's just say that didn't go over so well with Sam. So let's talk about Carly in a good way. Carly's a bit sarcastic, but really funny. She's also a really good student, all A's and B's. She lives with her 26-year-old brother Spencer, or Spence, who dropped out of law school to become an artist. Ever hear of anything so strange? He's usually working on some kind of sculpture. We don't know where Carly's mom is. Maybe one of you guys do. But her dad is stationed on a Navy submarine. Two of my Carly's enemies are Mrs. Briggs, a teacher who blackmailed Carly into letting her play bagpipes on the show. And Neville, an 11 year old who dumps on Carly because she won't go out with him. Miranda Cosgrove plays Carly Shea, co-host of iCarly. Miranda used to play Megan Parker, Drake's little sister on Drake and Josh. It looks like she's going to be in a Drake and Josh movie too, Drake and Josh in New York, and a Drake and Josh Christmas special. Miranda was also in School of Rock with Jack Black. Miranda said that she learned from her Drake and Josh co-stars to be herself and have a great time on iCarly. She's got to be doing that. Carly's best friend and co-host is Samantha Puckett. Sam for short. Sam is a lot more rebellious than Carly. She's kind of like a skater girl. A bit how Lily used to be in Hannah Montana. She can be a bit obnoxious sometimes. Something I know nothing about. Sam is always causing trouble with Freddy. She'll go nuts if she can't make fun of him. She's always making bets with Freddy. You can usually find Sam at Carly's house. She treats it like it's her own home. One strange thing about Sam, she's really into bacon and ribs. Sometimes she even eats bacon at her desk in school. Once Sam stuck a rib right onto Freddy's face. Gross. I wouldn't want a rib on my face. Sam's played by Jeanette McCurdy. She's been on a bunch of shows, including Malcolm in the Middle, Will and Grace, and Lake and Heights. Jeanette has a couple movies coming out, too. Minor Details and Proving Ground. Check your local listings for showtimes following their release. Last we heard, one of Jeanette's favorites was Johnny Depp. She's into pirates, but I'm more into Willy Wonka. I'll take chocolate over an eye patch. Sam is always starting in with iCarly's tech genius, Redward Benson. 
but he goes by Freddy. He's in school with Sam and Carly and lives right across from Carly and Spence. Freddy has a huge crush on Carly and takes a lot of abuse from Sam. You're so right. Including getting a wedgie. Ouch! Freddy is awesome with electronics, but he turns out to be really good at fencing too. He had a relative who was a really good fencer in the circus. Freddy is played by Nathan Kress. Yep, Nathan has a movie coming out too. A TV movie called Gym Teacher. He's made an appearance on Drake and Josh as Toplin, or Toplin, and even done voices in Disney's Chicken Little. From what we've heard, the cast does hang out on and off the set. Can you imagine going to Macaroni Grill and there's Carly, Sam, and Freddy at the next table? One last thing we've noticed. In one episode called I Want a World Record, Spence's sculpture was inducted to the Jonas Book of World Records. Yes, Jonas! I coincidence? I don't know, but I interested. <laughs> well, that wraps up another Piper's Fix. Thanks for watching and help us spread the word about the show. We're growing thanks to your help. As a matter of fact, we have to give a shout out to Exposax. She did our first ever Piper's Picks TV fan video. So awesome that you did that. And thanks to Darcy for all the comments. You can find us at piperspicks.tv. See you next time for episode 15. Until next time, watch iCarly. And if you missed it, go ahead and watch our ET video. It's awesome, baby. How does that remote control thing that Sam has work? <laughs> Hello? This is your house. Hi, Miranda. Sorry for hanging up on you before. Ah! ah. I can't say that. Converges what a what a. He also created Drake and Joss and Zoe 111. 101. And Zoe 111. 101. Are my eyes open enough? Okay. <laughs> Whoa! What? There was a bug on my paper. It's a bug. You said you gave me super easy lines. It that's is. No, that's not an so, easy. Huh? She's loony. Loony in the head.